welcome back to Hilo Lux for Luxury and Style Attainable. Welcome back to a vlog. It's been a while. We're getting ready for Fashion Week. Well, we're getting ready for Fashion Month. So we're gonna do our what do you call this video? Prep. Fashion Month prep. prep. Go through, you know, why I'm attending Fashion Month. Um, kind of how we plan, prep, schedule. Of course, all of the looks are behind me. Um, some of my favorite things to wear that I'm excited to wear. And hopefully I'll have some info in here. If you're interested in Fashion Week um, or any other Fashion Weeks, it'll be helpful. And if you're not, it'll just be like entertaining and fun, so. Okay, so before we get into any of the planning, I figured I'd talk through the why and how of going to Fashion Week. Um, because I always tell people, when people ask if they should go or you know they're excited about going or they wanna go, I always say it can be a lot of fun, but you should kind of have your why because it also um, is a big expense or can be a big expense, especially if you want to go to multiple cities. So um, the reason I like to go to fashion weeks and fashion month in general, which is just all the cities, um, is because I want a career in fashion, right? I have a career in fashion and I want to be at the forefront of like when trends start, being able to bring that information to my audience. Um, for so many years, right, I would share on YouTube or share on Instagram, like what's coming in trend, how I feel about certain things, but it it was through other people and having to wait for somebody else to tell me about a show or see it in a magazine or see a review. And my goal is that I can be at the forefront of those things so I can quickly get the information and use it to create the content that I want and share with my audience. So that's why I'm there. And obviously I love fashion and it's inspiring and you get so much more creative because you're just immersed in it and you know. So that is my why. Now how do you attend fashion? So when I first started, I used a website called GPS Radar. It is still around. And you can kind of sign up for it and you can pitch yourself to shows. It's smaller shows, but they do have several that are at Spring Studios, which is in New York. And that's like where most fashion shows are. Um, you're not going to find the big shows there, but it's a great place to start. And then after that, bigger shows, you need to get in contact with um, the designer's PR company. And the same thing, you need to pitch yourself and say like why you want to be there. What value are you going to provide? Are you a writer? You know, you have a blog or you write for magazines and you're going to be able to get them in a publication. Um, do you have a YouTube channel or do you discuss fashion where you share with your audience? Um, are you a photographer and you'll create images? Maybe they can use them, you can share with them. You need to have a point, a purpose for being, for being there, right? Because there's editors who are going to write about the um, collections there are buyers who are going to put their collections in stores like that's most of the people that are there are helping in some way the huge influencers right they're going to get the publicity on the show and the collection um now you can buy tickets to shows um especially i think only in new york you can't in milan and paris however the goal like i talked about is because we love fashion and we want to be at the forefront and also a huge reason i attend fashion week is to build relationships my goal is to work with these brands, um, to use them as partners, to be able to leverage them, right? If I get invited to a red carpet and I have a good relationship with Brandon Maxwell and they can loan me, you know, a look to wear. But if I buy a ticket to the show, I'm not really becoming a partner. I'm not building any type of relationship. I'm just a customer. Um, and the ticket prices are astronomical. I think for most fashion shows, it's like $500 to $2,000. Most of us go to two or three fashion shows a day during fashion week. So I don't know who has, who would be willing to spend that kind of money just to go to a show when you could actually just work on building the relationship and getting invited. Um, so yeah, so I have a PR company that helps me. They literally pitch me just like they would for a campaign and they reach out and they say, Here, here's all Janae's socials. Um, you know, here's the last time she talked about Tori Burch or Kate Spade or here's what she shared it with her audience. She really loves the brand. She'd love to do X, Y, and Z. She'd love to share it on her blog. She does a YouTube roundup, da, 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 da. And then they, you know, say yes or no. So that's what I suggest. That's what I do. Um, I think that's everything on why and how. Um, I'll quickly just give you an overview of what we have prepped so far and kind of like my thought process. Okay. So the first thing I do um, mm -hmm. before I start... <laughs> The first thing I do before I start or when I start my prep is I create mood boards. I always talk about having inspiration. So this is my New York mood board and I base them um, on like the vibe I feel when I'm in that city and kind of like the aesthetic of the city and just how I want to show up basically. So 
for New York. Um, the vibe is kind of like, and I put words here just to kind of help me stay on track. So like elevated casual, um, edgy, tailored. I want to feel very chic, but I also feel like this is a place where I can have a little more fun. Um, we have this look from Lori Harvey. I just like the juxtaposition of like, it feels very sexy, but cool with the hat, a little casual, same thing with the cargoes, but then like this peplum bustier top. Um, this little mini skirt, but it's like in this puffer material. Everything kind of has a cool factor to it. It doesn't feel too dressy. Um, this kind of like tailored suit down here feels very chic, sophisticated. Um, lots of leather, lots of black because we know I like that, but also like denim looks, just more casual. And then I put this look here just to keep like some makeup inspo as well. Like I want to try a dark lip while I'm there. So that's the New York and I get most of these from like Pinterest, but I have an idea in mind of like pieces that I want to wear. Um, like I knew I wanted to take like my cargo jeans. Um, I have like a really cool skirt that kind of made me lean towards that. And then, so that's New York. This is Milan. Um, I know I wanted to play with like more prints here. So I have like this look. Get a little closer. So the words I have is prints, effortless chic, uh, metallics, and then bold accessories. So none of this will be like replicated exactly, but it kind of keeps me like on, on theme. Um, I have a lot of kind of like silver and gold bold accessories I want to remember to use. Um, I'm really into, I, I talked about these last time, like these like floral details. I wore some of that last fashion week and I want to do more of that. I have some boots similar to this and I want to style them in a similar way. Denim, but then like in a very chic tailored kind of feel. And then I have a lot of metallics that I want to play around with. And I have a zebra something. So this is just kind of inspo. I'm actually not doing any red. I'm actually doing a lot of lavender and purple, but it'll be mixed in with like the metallics and the blacks and the neutrals. So, and I do have a zebra something. So again, whenever I'm, while I'm, rec uh, while I'm creating my looks and putting things together, I just look back on this to make sure I'm on the right track. Am I incorporating prints? Do I, you know, am I trying out some of these silhouettes? That's what I use this for. And then lastly, it's Paris. And this is where I up the ante. Um, this is where we can just have, bring a little more drama, a little more fun. I have, again, here's some beauty inspo. I wanna try my hair like this. Again, I wanna play with dark lips. I like the, the detail on her eyes, kind of like glossy. So I saved that from TikTok, I think. Um, so again, there's like high, I put high shine cause I want to do metallics, but also just like shiny, interesting things, still some prints. Um, and I put glam goth as one of the kind of ideas and that's basically everything you see. Um, it's a lot of like structured silhouettes. It's still a lot of neutrals, but like a little pop of color, but the high shine is what makes it interesting. So that is Paris. I'm going to play around with like very like maxi lengths streamline kind of column styles and then just like some interesting silhouettes metallics more metallics but I, I do want to have more fun with like hair and makeup so the mood boards that's where we start um and then we get into the shopping so the mood board is very useful for that and that's one of the main reasons I started doing it because it just you can get so overwhelmed and just over buy because you're so excited and have so many ideas can you grab that for me it might be a um let me see yeah thank you mm -hmm. Um, so the mood board just helps me stay on track, right? If I see something I like online, because it takes hours of like online shopping, cultivating things, saving things, you know, putting them in your cart, but not checking out yet to kind of say like, okay, I know I want to do metallics. I'm looking for metallic boots. But while I'm shopping, I can reference my mood board and say, I like this thing. Maybe it's a new in on Farfetch. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. But then I look at my mood board and I'm like, but that's not really the vibe we're going for. Like it's a cute, nice to have, but that's not what I'm shopping for right now. And I can just move on and keep looking for things I need. So the shopping is done, which like at this point, most of my shopping is done. I'm just waiting for like um, loans from a few brands that wanna dress me for things. Um, then we start the styling. So that's what I did last week and I did a little bit yesterday and I'm gonna do some more today. Um, but I, I try on everything to see, cause right now on the rack, I just have ideas, right? I have like, I think this will look cute with this. I've picked out a bunch of things, but you know, who, who knows how it's gonna turn out. So then I have to try everything on and style it. I do, you know, the sunglasses, the handbag, the shoes, every detail of the outfit. Um, and then I take a picture of it 
and then I give it to Maya. So that's the phase we're in now where I have lots of pictures of things. I still have a few more things to try on, but I have a lot of pictures. And then we go through the scheduling. So that's what you're going to see us do next. We're going to go through the schedule I have, which a lot of stuff's still not confirmed. But we'll go through each day and say like, okay, this is this event or this show. What do we want to wear? And then I'll look at the pictures I have and she'll put the picture next to the event. So that's where we are. So it's kind of <laughs> how I prep things to keep it somewhat organized. I have this first rack. You can't see it. It's written in orange there, but the label says New York. So like this half, this section is all my ideas for New York. And then we have another little separator and that says Milan. And that's what all these are. And then I try to keep things in like certain color palettes because it's going to, you know, look good on the feed and all that stuff. And I can pack less because a lot of things will go with each other. So you can see the theme here is kind of like pinks, purples, blacks, neutrals, some camel. And then here is kind of like a lot of blacks, pops of greens, a little bit of red, and metallics again. These are all of the shoes. And then down here are just like basics, undergarments, just things I might need. And then this rack is Paris. Also, I got all of my sunglasses laid out here but as you can see this kind of corresponds with the mood board right I got um, lots of metallics lots of high shine um, and th these are just again all ideas of things that I'm thinking so we're gonna get into uh, putting the outfits the pictures that I have with the schedule but before I do that like always I figured I'd show like some pieces I'm excited about like that I haven't done like a haul or anything. So, oh, what is this package? Oh, this is my Teresa. Yes, you wanna open this? Yes. Because we can show them that too. So excited. Oh, I'll get you the scissors. Um, timing. Okay. So, I feel like I've showed these boots a million times, but I'm the most excited about these. These are Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs platforms. Um, let me see if you can get. There we go. They are so comfortable. They're stunning, and I'm excited because these are like shoes I've always wanted to wear. Like it's like Bratz dolls, and I just never was like confident enough to wear something like this. And now I'm just in a phase of like I don't care. <laughs> so I'm very excited to style these. The look that we have is perfection. So very excited about just seeing this already. But I did get this um, coat from YSL that I absolutely love. It is so comfy, but I'm going to pair it with, I'll pop up a picture of how I'm going to style it. That I took last night, so I love this. It's like a statement, but it's also comfortable. I'll be warm. It's going to be very cold in every city. So this was like from the mood board. I found this stunning, super long zebra print coat by Dries Van Noten. And it's kind of, it actually feels like a cardigan. Um, it just buttons to here, so then it flares out. And I think I'm gonna do it with Marc Jacobs boots. Very excited. Of course, I'm taking my Hanifa coat. Ugh, this is going to Paris. And I bought the matching pants. So, that'll be a look. And then I just got an outfit from my Teresa. Um, I'm working with them. This looks, I don't even know how, what. <laughs> I think this is a skirt. Oh my God, and it's then this tiny. Is, this is it. Yes. It falls over. Yes. <laughs> okay, so of course we want to support black designers. So I got something from Laquan Smith, which I always try to wear something from his when I go to New York Fashion Week. There's no fucking way. This is a skirt. <laughs> Skirt. This is Look, a skirt. Because this is a shirt. <laughs> Which is stunning. There's no way. I, we're going to have to try that on. <laughs> we're going to have to try that one a couple of times. Okay. Um. <laughs> I mean, but look at the vision. I mean, I see it. Ugh. There's no way. <laughs> I mean, we can do tights. We're going to have black to. tights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. This is real. This is real life. This is the top. Stunning. That is stunning. Oh, uh, I might have bit off more than I could chew. You can figure it, figure it out. Come bring it around. Mm -hmm. Let's let's give them the. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I see the vision. You see the vision? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna report back. <laughs> report back. Black tights, black boots. <laughs> we make it work. Maybe a coat. <laughs> and then, oh, this stunning. Oh, this is the mood board right here. Oh, yes. This is a velvet um, maxi fishtail skirt from Saint Laurent. Like, that's fire. I can't wait to see what you come up with. With the, the Saint Laurent blazer. And is it fitted? Oh, I love that. Uh, like, stop. Look. Okay, so that's what we're excited <laughs> about. Okay, now we're gonna plan. We're gonna wear layage, gifting, loaning, mm -hmm. and then this. For the Matrice and cocktail? Yeah. Okay. And then after that, it's the Victor and Rolf flower bomb party. Mm, maybe we'll just keep it on. I'm thinking this could be a cute cake safe moment. Mm, that'd be cute. You know, like it's me, but it's also like a little fashion preppy Americana, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but in a cool way. Yes. Or do we do this? That's also very understated. Was it something else you wanted to wear for that presentation? I need to. It's like so stuff. early. Yeah. Let's put it for now. Okay. So we have time to, okay. to think on it. Yeah, we'll put this for now. We can just take a picture of it on the floor. Okay. Did you know the bag and shoes or? That's what I'm looking at. And then just, you know, the more analytics we can get about her top sellers or her most popular items, the more roundups we can do. Um, but since, no. All right, we finished up with the scheduling. We have all of the outfits, all of the events. <laughs> Um, so I want to go over cost a little bit. I did this in the last one, um, because a lot of people think this is free. A lot of people think, um, which it is free for some people. I'm not one of those people yet. Um, hopefully one day, you know, I'll get my hotel comped when I go to different cities and some, you know, a brand will fly me there. You know, I'll be doing work or something like that. But for now, this is an expense, um, because, you know, it's a part of, the fashion journey I'm on making sure I'm in the right spaces and making the right connections and all that jazz um so obviously we have to pay for flights that can be as high or as low as you wanted to um luckily the flights to New York were very cheap this time I think we got first class tickets for like 300 bucks that was amazing um hotels weren't terrible either Maya is going for three days mm -hmm. three days and we'll be there for five days yes um, so that was, those, those were average. I feel like the hotels were pretty good. Like three or four hundred dollars a night. Pretty decent. You'll be there for seven days. Okay, seven <laughs> days. That's a long time. Um, it's the, it's the going to Europe flights that are the real kicker. We drive to DC and fly out of that airport because it saves us like, I think a thousand dollars per ticket. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we get business class just so we can sleep because when we get there we have to start doing stuff um so I think at um like a regular seat it's probably like what like a thousand you could probably like a thousand or fifteen hundred probably yeah probably like thirteen to fifteen yeah mm -hmm. um and then the business class I want to say it was like three yeah something going out of DC though like leaving here it was four something in Virginia Beach area. So we're driving up there and then flying. And we stop in New York and then we go to Milan. And then we had to get um, like um, plane tickets from Milan to Paris, which were pretty cheap. Those were like what, two or two or 300 bucks. So not terrible. And then from Paris back home, which we luckily there's always straight flights from Paris to Washington DC, which is amazing. And same thing around three, $3,000. And that's for me. That's just for me and then $3,000 for Josh. So, a pretty penny. And then I want to say each hotel, we're in each city for like a week. Paris a little longer. I think Paris is like seven days and Milan is like five or six. Or Paris is eight and maybe Milan is six or something like that. 
I want to say each hotel when it comes like all the way with taxes is like five thousand for the week. So it's an investment, but I feel like you know there's a there's a purpose to all this, um, and also a big goal, and hopefully you'll see it in the vlogs, is to really have better balance um, and not get too caught up in like having the perfect pictures. Obviously, that's what I want. Um, and like going to all the things, but also like having a good time. Like I get to hang out with people or be in the same cities with people I don't normally get to. So I want to, you know, go to dinner, have, just have a good time and enjoy people's companies. Josh will be with me. It's Valentine's day while we're in New York. So I want to make sure I'm taking time to like enjoy the places I'm at, go out to dinner, like find new places, stuff like that. So that's where we are Wednesday. It's Monday. I don't know if I said that, but Wednesday, Maya will come back and we're going to pack. Um, and then we're, we leave Thursday morning. We leave at 7 a.m. Because technically, usually I would go Wednesday. I think last time I even went Tuesday, but it was just, it's too long to be there. So we're going Thursday morning. We leave at 7. We get there at 8. Or we leave at 8 and get there at 9. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And then we start doing things like at like 12. Mm -hmm. So obviously I'll be vlogging. But wanted to do a little prep video to show you, you know, what I do. Maybe it helps if you're interested in any of this. And if not, it was just entertaining. I think that's everything. There'll be a vlog. Let me know if you want separate vlog for every city. And also let me know what you want me to focus more on. We're trying to be a little more purposeful with what I share. Maybe like more about the fashion. More with just like the friends and the fun. Let me know what you prefer to see. Because I feel like once we get to Paris vlog it's just like all right it's the same shit like we get it so how can i make it more entertaining let me know leave leave a comment below i think that's everything thanks for stopping by see ya bye, bye. bye.